This is a 3-2 roller valve. It has a valve body, a roller lever, and an internal moving part. This is the cross-sectional view of the 3-2-way roller valve, without the roller lever. Only the moving part, and valve body are shown. Let's now see the animated view of the valve in action, the detailed explanation of each valve position will follow. When the roller valve is not activated, compressed air supply to port 1 is blocked. But port 2 and 3 are connected. That is, air can travel freely between the two ports. Note that port 3 is normally an exhaust port, air escape to atmosphere through this port. Try to trace out the air path of the cross-sectional view and the symbol shown. They both correspond to each other. When the roller valve is activated or switch over to another position, compressed air supply to port 1 is connected to port 2. Compressed air coming out of port 2 can be connected to the input port of the next pneumatic device and activate that device. Note that at this switching position, port 3 is blocked. At this switching position, the valve symbol has an additional part added, to indicate the valve is activated when constructing a pneumatic circuit diagram.